On Lake Earlswater, tourist attractions surrender to the fascination of jet speed as Donald Campbell prepares for his attempt on the world water speed record. On the lake, huge buoys mark the one kilometre course, for the final speed is calculated after one run in each direction over the measured distance. All set, the turbojet craft Bluebird, a name that carries on a proud family tradition, bursts into life. Watching are Donald Campbell's wife and his mother, Lady Campbell. Then anxious eyes are on the streamlined hydroplane as it made its first run. Here she comes. That run was clocked at over 215 miles per hour. Here, in striking contrast, is the attempt by Donald's father, Sir Malcolm, in 1939, when he broke the record with 141 miles per hour. Then, three years ago, America's Stanley Sayers increased his own record with a speed of 178.49. Since then, John Cobb's gallant attempt ended in tragedy. Back to Ellswater for the tremendous strain of the return run. at 189.57, making an average of 202.32 miles per hour. So, after five years, the world water speed record returns to Britain. It can be seen that Donald Campbell is suffering from his spinal injury. Yes, the result is confirmed. 16 years after his father's successful bid, Donald Campbell has recorded his own great achievement on Lake Earlswater. A proud family occasion, for once again, a Campbell is the world's fastest man on water.